Hello, everyone. Hey, Scarbo. What do we have? Hi, mate. Today we've got eight people from Park joining us. Eight Five people. We've got a, the house is full, mate. The house is full. What I've ran hell? out of coffee and milk. So, do you want to introduce yourself, lads? One yeah, guys. Time on. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Go oh, yeah, this. I'll go first. Yeah, my name's Chris or Sloppy. I am a part of Park and also the XRP Cafe. Yep. And I'm Steve, otherwise known as Stove, I'm also part of Park and the XRP Cafe. And just wanted to say that um, we do have three members here from Park, and then we have uh, the rest of our members who are from the cafe. I just wanted to clarify that. Excellent. Over his chairs. Who else we got? Hey, guys. I'm Jebzy. And yeah, I'm one of the members. I'm from X Rooms, but I am helping out with the XRP Cafe. Excellent. Is that it? Everybody said hi. <laughs> There's no, no shot. That's no. No. Yeah, Monkey here, um, helping out with the cafe as well. And shrooms. Uh, yeah, I'm bad. I'm all the cafe and uh, shrooms. So that's it now, right? <laughs> Is that your name? So. Oh, my name's Tim. I'm a co-founder of Park, and I'm helping out with the cafe as well. Ooh, you just Excellent. Stuck in here. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so we're going to talk just a little bit about Park first, and uh, you guys walk us through a few of the important things, and then we go over and talk about the cafe. Sound good? Sounds Perfect. good. Sounds good. All right. Tell us about your Pixel 8 South mobile Park. app. What is it? What does it do? What does it have? Tell us a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Um, so Park was originally created as an NFT project on the XRPL. Um, but we do a little bit more than just create NFTs. Um, we have a really awesome team. Everything that we produce is all developed in-house. So the art that you're seeing, um, you know, the uh, development behind it, um, everything we do ourselves, nothing is outsourced. Um, so obviously, like you see on the website right here, we do create NFTs. Um, but we also have a developer um, X, known as XRPL Adam. He's actually in a meeting right now, so he wasn't able to make it. Um, but he develops open source tools on the XRPL. So, um, you know, those tools are used to kind of help out other projects, uh, other NFT projects in the XRPL. And then on top of that, um, we also host uh, community events on our Twitch live stream. So um, Chris and I host the, the Twitch live stream and we've hosted... Um, a bunch of podcasts on there. Typically, we'll have, you know, XRPL NFT projects come on and kind of do like a lax AMA style that uh, is very similar to what you guys are hosting right now, um, where we'll have NFT projects come on, kind of tell us about their, their projects. And, um, you know, we'll have host uh, fun little games and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's a pretty cool thing that we do. Because you do marbles on there, don't you, as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. lots the of marbles. Love, yeah. The people love the marbles. I love the marbles, man. <laughs> I do because I won it. Well, I won it once. So I won I it a few times it. with the X punch, and I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I won it when the junkies were on X punk, so that was pretty apt. So I did score the park are ten thousand NFTs, right? Correct. Correct. Yep. Yeah. That's the basis of everything, and I saw in the white paper that they're left facing. Yeah, definitely. So um, the left facing style is, is, is pretty cool because that's the traditional way that most portraits were made. Um, and it makes things look a little bit uh, cooler when you're looking at them. So it's, um, like I said, kind of how things were done traditionally. And we think it's one of those things that kind of makes our NFTs unique as many of the NFTs um, in this space and in other NFT spaces are right facing right. yeah it's really it's really that. it's really funny because when you go into a you know a space call and everybody has right facing nfts <laughs> and you're and looking you, yeah you look like a sore thumb so yeah, it's, uh, yeah but you've got my best side <laughs> yeah you got exactly, my best side yes yeah yeah i've never really took much notice of it to be honest that'll start sticking out like a sore fucking thumb now won't it? Is, is oh, that 100%, exactly, yeah. 100%. You'll notice. Yeah. Is, is there anything you can tell me about the name of 
of this project. Of I mean, course. it's like Chris a bizarre name, right? Of like, course. Of explain course. that to everyone. Okay, so of course you know of Board Ape Yacht Club on Ethereum. Yeah. Ethereum, everyone knows that, right? Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, taking into consideration Ethereum, high gas fees, a yacht, high gas. I mean, well, you need a lot of gas to actually be able to run a yacht. <laughs> yeah. And then the, a lot the of gas to mint to an FNFT as exactly, well. Exactly, exactly. And with the XRPL, you know, low gas fees, it's fast. Granted, rowboats aren't fast, but you know, low cost to run a yeah. rowboat <laughs> yeah. other than yeah. manpower. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's not a slap in the face, but it, it's kind of making fun of Board Ape Yacht Club. So yeah, it's like good for you. Pixel Ape, rowboat, you know, swap the yachts out for the yeah. rowboats. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, that's basically how the name came together. Excellent. Yeah, love that's it. hilarious. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, you have the 10,000 NFTs and then you have some developer tools coming up like airdrop tools, right? I see here. Yep, so if you head over to our GitHub, it's X33 Labs. So every single tool that Adam has made within you know, the duration of Park, he's open sourced and we have you know, Discord price bots, um, airdrop tools. He created, I think like wallet ancestry tools to go back and you know, track children wallets and who's the parent wallet. And, you know, he just has a bunch of stuff, whatever he thinks of, he just creates and tosses it up. But there, they're, so. they're open source, right? Yep. All free. Every, so anybody he, can use them. You guys yeah. create them, put them out on GitHub and whoever wants to use them just goes and grabs, grabs them. Yep, right? That is correct. That yeah, is excellent. correct. A little bit different to some other projects. I am familiar with that want to charge for this kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, that's, that was the one thing that Adam wanted to do because you know, he, he likes disrupting the market. So, you know, people are charging. <laughs> rebel, <people>. rebel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, in a good way, in a good way. Yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like Robin Hood, I guess. Not, but not, he's not stealing anything, so. And tell us about the partnerships. I see here X Rooms, which we've done a video before, Monkey Monkey. We haven't yet, but I've heard of them. Tell us a little bit, what does that entail, the partnerships? So, yeah, the partnerships are, you know, um, typical like Twitter giveaways where you create a derivative of said NFT, you know, that project that you are partnering with and, you know, giving away various tokens. And then, you know, also we do different kinds of partnerships for the previous park streams. So, you know, um, we hosted a 129 event where we had... I think it was like 33 or 34 projects on. Um, and we all collabed on a single NFT that was auctioned off for St. Jude uh, Children's Excellent. Hospital. Wow. Excellent. Um, yeah, we streamed. It was a 10 hour stream. Um, we Can't did, lie. I think it was 96 marble races. Oh, wow. And it's, it's all on YouTube. It was actually a really <laughs> fun time. I that on a Friday <laughs> night, lads. And I'm not late. I don't think I could have coped. Oh, believe me, if you, if you watch me throughout the whole entire stream, I'm on my computer because I have the Excel spreadsheet in front of me, just like tapping away. Like I was a lot of tracking, but it was it was a lot of fun. And, you yeah. know, it was all for a good cause. So good we, were, you, uh, we loved it. Um, another question. You mentioned OR. Tell us a little bit about OR. It's a token, right? What do you use it for and why do you have it? Yep, for sure. So OR token as of right now is just, you know, it's our first token within the, you know, whole park ecosystem. Um, and, you know, it was airdropped to park holders of 0.5 or more. Um, there was no IDOs, no ICOs, whatever you want to call it. Um, we airdropped, I think it was what, 40% of the supply, Steve? I believe so, yeah. Or 30% of the it, supply. It was right around there. It's yeah. a lot, yeah. right? Of right away, 30%. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. What's um, the utility of it? What, what are you doing so, with it? As of right now, it's just a token, but longer term, we do have plans on releasing like an auction house that will tie into, uh, you know, some Twitch streams. Mm -hmm. So similar to the 129 event where we auctioned off the NFT, we already have, you know, the bare bones auction house built. So once XLS 20 comes out, we plan to host streams where, you know, you auction off an NFT for a five minute period on stream. It's a lot of fun, a lot of interaction within the audience and, you know, that's yeah. where OR is going to come into the picture because it's going to be more, it's going to be like a reserve currency on that website where if you wanted to post a bid for XRP, since we don't Im immediately pull it out of your wallet, you would have to, you know, put OR up as like a token of good faith. Yeah. 
where collateral, if you don't yeah, pretty collateral, good. if you don't pay out, you know, that person selling that NFT, they would just take your ore, basically. Got it. It's kind of like a utility thing in a way. Definitely. <clears throat> yep. Um, before we move on, I want to share two more things. Tell us about like the apes uh, uh, features, the rarity, what are the, you know, a little bit about the, the, the art and all of that. Yeah, definitely. So um, like we said, it's a, it's a 10K collection is what we plan on, you know, minting out. Um, everything is uh, hand drawn. So Tim, myself, um, as well as one of our other members, Luke, um, basically did all of the art from scratch. And um, we have over like 300 traits that are going to be in the collection. So, you know, it's going to be basically the chances of two people minting the same thing is, is nearly um, nil. So, you know, we have a bunch of different rarity classes. Um, those would be common, uncommon, rare, uh, epic, and legendary. Um, and we have some, you know, if you look on the website, you can see kind of some of the ones that we did for our test generations. Um, everything's obviously going to be totally done at random. Um, and every NFT is also going to come with a first and last name, which is kind of unique as well. And those are also randomly generated. How does that work? So it's random first and last names. Do they have like a certain theme, let's say, that plays with the apes or whatever? apish uh, names or to not to be honest to be honest they're going to be pretty bland like a brian johnson or something oh <laughs> like, they're going to be just like nothing like, to, yeah. just a normal uh, name yeah just like just a normal like todd fisher or something oh, like that i want todd fisher <laughs> yeah. okay maybe i thought like um something like uh Mr. Ape John Boatmaster or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. So that, that would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. But we basically just, you know, found like a directory of like a couple thousand names online, first and last names. Yeah. And you can toss oh, that within yeah. the script that you run it and tie it to the NFT. So. Yeah, who knows? You could add a couple of those on there that I mentioned. John, you know? I mean, no, John now that you're Smith, saying that. <laughs> John Smith's going to be rare, isn't it? That's yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> super. <laughs> John Doe. Um, yeah. So there's a white paper for people to have a look. Um, tell us a little bit about the team about the team real quick. We have Christopher, head of marketing. Yeah, so it's, yeah, that's me. Um, that's you. You know, sloppy, love XRP, love crypto in general. And, you know, I work in sales, so marketing is a perfect spot for me. Adam? Adam, software engineer for, I think, like 20 plus years. Couldn't um, be here today, right? Couldn't be here currently in a meeting. I think he has over seven years of experience with Solidity. So, I mean, granted, it, that doesn't really pair up with, you know, the XRPL, but he's very fond and familiar with the blockchain and crypto in general. Also props to you guys putting your names and faces out there. That's excellent. Yeah. yeah. Um, Steve? Yeah, that's me. Um, I do a lot of the art for Park. Um, Chris and I obviously host the live streams as well. Um, I'm in the classic car industry outside of park and um, yeah, I love the XRPL in general. And then we have Tim here, right? Tim's there. Tim is here. Tim? 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 Yeah. Give him a nudge. Someone <laughs> Sorry, I hit the, Tim, I hit the pen button. He needs more coffee. coffee. <laughs> Give him some coffee. Come on. Tim, you're born in Argentina. You still speak Spanish? Yes, sir. Ah, oh, oh, no. oh, where we go. Yeah. No, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's not as fluent anymore. I've been uh, I've been living in the U.S. for basically my whole life, but I, I still speak it with my parents and stuff like that. You visit, you visit the home in Argentina. Oh, no. Um, since um, since the whole lockdown thing, I haven't, but I I do miss it. I've got yeah. family out there and stuff. Um, Luke, Luke, Luke. Yep, Luke, born in Canada. He um. Is kind of sitting in the back seat right now, a little bit of uh, IRL stuff, taking a little bit more of his time than usual. So, but he helps with the art and basically, um, you know, with the website. Right. So, is, do you guys have everyone from all over the place? Oh yeah, all over the place. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we talked about pretty much all of this here already. Of the NFTs, people can look at the white paper. A uh, quick look at the chart like it kind of reflects what crypto Everything. is doing right now right they all look yep. the same everything's the same <laughs> everything's flat <laughs> bottom 
<laughs> Everything yeah. Bye, yeah. bye. Yeah. bye. Copy paste. Bye. Copy paste. Yeah. yeah. So sixty. If you guys want to pick up some park, can you buy ore as well? Yes, you can. Yeah. I've got okay. some. Man. I don't have the, yeah, the link. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, it's crucified me. <laughs> um, we're about half we in for today. Let's have a look at your other project um, called XRP Cafe. 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 XRP Cafe. Cafe. Coffee. Cafe. <laughs> Tell us about Cafe. it. Cafe. Tell us about it. your project. It's a marketplace, right? Yeah, definitely. So um, the cafe is is kind of how it reads: a cozy NFT marketplace. Um, it was created by eight of us. We have a team of eight people this time. So, um, you know, a lot of different heads kind of working on uh, this project. And we basically came together as both, you know, the park team, as well as the X Shrooms team. And then we have, you know, community members and developers on the team. So it's a really awesome team. And basically we just aim to build uh, the most simple and easy to use uh, marketplace on the, on the XRPL. It's all about the the interface and the feeling of it, right? Exactly, exactly. Uh, on the XRPL, unlike on Ethereum, um, every transaction is not going to be on DEX. It's all on blockchain. Whereas on Ethereum, where you have the smart contracts, you can hide away all those transactions and just show, you know, it's kind of more open, the XRPL in that sense, because it's all out there. Everything's public. You can see yeah. everything going Every, on. Who bought what for how uh, much? There's and... nothing worse than where did that come from? Who's doing what? Who's <laughs> buying what? Who's, I mean, who's just pumped that price up amongst themselves? Scarbo, we know the example from the Songbird marketplaces, yeah, right? Yeah, where yeah. you don't know anything. Who who owns it? Who bought it? I mean, it's uh, it's totally obscure, actually. So I'm looking forward to seeing the XRPL marketplaces. Being I, I think marketplaces, the easier they are to use, the more people are use it. There's nothing worse than a shitty to use marketplace. And that's exactly, you know, what we're trying to go for, because, you know, we're we all love NFTs ourselves. And, you know, we want to use a great marketplace that doesn't have clutter, um, you know, that within three clicks i can purchase an nft and view yeah. it within my wallet without now, a load of shit trying to get through and exactly yeah. exactly i i just want to buy my nft yeah. click up in the top right hand corner of the wallet view my nft and you know the least amount of time so see it, that's all you want to do isn't it you just want to buy it there you go it's there it's done uh, exactly exactly don't and rigmarole just trying to buy an nft <laughs> yeah no R rigmarole <laughs> Rigmarole. <laughs> do you, do you guys are that. working on the interface right now? Is that it on the on the back end? So yep, we have Adam doing the back end stuff. Um, and then Tippy, who is a member of the community, um, who actually has his own NFT project as well, he is doing all the front end stuff. So he's the one that's making it look super clean and with the help of Timmy and also uh Jebzy on the website. So you know, it's just, like I said earlier in the DMs, we have the Brady Bunch. We have a family yeah. of eight right here. And <laughs> Brady Bunch. That's I mean, funny. you know, it's it's really awesome having, you know, eight people part of one project because there's that's eight different heads thinking about the same exact thing. And, yeah. you know, we all have the same goal at the end of the day. So everybody has a different thought on each part. And it's always good to hear, you know, different opinions. So, so I think what helps as well is because obviously the communities, everyone's got to know each other. So you become friends as well, which makes it easier. Exactly, now. exactly. And, you know, um, yeah, you know, the XRP is going to be a marketplace, but at the same time, it's also going to be like an inclusive community. And, you yeah. know, where we plan on, so we took the park streams and rebranded it as a part of the XRP cafe. Um, so we're basically, you know, streaming every week with the cafe, um, similar to the park streams, but, you know, a little bit better. Um, we have our first, um, what's it called? We have our first event on the 27th. We're playing Jeopardy with Junkies, Pepe, mm. Monkey Monkey, and Yanniverse. So they're all going to go up against each other. We have this super cool Jeopardy app. Um, they're going to be, you know, answering questions, winner takes all, and of course, marbles. But, you know, somewhere down the line, we have, you know, a couple other events in planning right now that we can't speak on. But again, you know, um, 
this is you know is just as much for the community so yeah you, you, so you guys are working on this right now with the test net basically so um from what adam's been sharing he has only we haven't um you know tested any minting yet just due to the fact that this has only been going for the last i think month and a couple of weeks um so he wants to build all the back end processes out first and then you know we'll hop on the test net but um, I think we're, and correct me if I'm wrong, anybody in here, um, October is what we're aiming for, for beta. For launching? Beta for, launch? For, for at least a beta, yeah. Beta. beta. <clears throat> Limited beta. Yeah, sounds great. What else, anything else you want to tell us about the XRP Cafe? So it's going to be an NFT marketplace. It's going to be open to everyone. How does it work? Is it like a, a selection of NFTs or is it like a general marketplace? Like, can I mint there? Can I go there and mint, let's say? I have some art I want to mint there or what's the procedure? You do, be? actually. So yeah, <laughs> you'll be able to, you know, come on here, mint, um, you know, terms of, is it going to cost anything? Is it going to be free? You know, we're still working out the finer details and we need to get a, you know, a white paper out. Um, so, but yeah, you will be able to mint your collection um, within the website. Yeah, uh, there's like a big question is also how a lot of people are artists, right? And they, but they don't know the technical side of this at all. I mean, it's yeah. literally a world first, right? I myself been working on a collection, but I always, uh, now I'm kind of stuck, you know, like how does it technically word, work? How do you do 10,000 JPEGs, let's say, you know what I'm saying? How, how does that, does that get processed? You know? So there's a lot of questions. In that regard. Yeah. There would be, there would be more or less like a bulk minting feature where you can dump all 10,000 of those images within there and just upload them basically. And it'll um, take just about a week, right, to get them all processed and returned. I, I, I have no clue how long it would take, to be completely honest. Yeah, but this is... Uh, what if you're on dial up as well? Imagine that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> we better hardwire but up flight, real chat. quick. Oh, but the cool thing it. is that this we're all in this together. I mean, this is a new uh, period of humanity's technology. We're going into something completely new, blockchain, Web3, NFTs. You know, it's like, I remember when the internet got started and nobody knew what the hell that is. What's email, you know? So now we're here 30 years later and there's another, something completely new coming for us. It's it's amazing that we're part of this, you know. The I crazy think. time that we're living in and yeah. you know, this space does not wait for anybody, you know? Um, like one day in this space is like a week, so. Oh yeah. And we can't even that, imagine yeah. how it's going to be a year <laughs> from now. I mean, we, we literally don't know. Oh, things. literally no clue whatsoever. Yeah. I don't even want to try to assume what it's going to be like. That's why when we were talking in the other video that we did, Scarbo, about uh, people um, holding like their flare token for 36 months, we were like, what? Uh, 36 months is like 20 years in crypto, man. What uh, you got to sell, you gotta, you gotta sell, sell your songbird the minute it came out. Oh, <laughs> like, God, yes. Get rid of it. I, mean, I, to I, it. I said, flare, I'm selling it as soon as it comes out. As soon as oh, I mean, like, like, it, it's like, it, well, it, I'm not locking it up for three years. What? <laughs> anything could happen in three years. I mean, come on. And also, you know, the order book's going to be absolutely stacked once it comes out. And you know, everybody's just going to rush to the nearest yeah. exchange and dump. And then you could just dump. buy the dip when, yeah. you know, you wait 24 <laughs> hours and then you're good to go. Yeah. Or you could be like Sunbird and everyone jumps in when it launches and <laughs> at 80 cents. And now it's not point not work two. It's like, yeah, that, that was rough. That I was like rough. It. I'm glad I never brought any. Yeah, it's just they get you with the uh, where you can delegate them to earn songbirds. Yeah. Everybody, everybody yeah. wants to hold them closely, and then you know the guy with a hundred thousand just dumps. <laughs> so, when do you think XRP Calf will be ready? Um, full release to be determined. Um, you know we're working daily on it, so only only time will tell at this yeah. point. Um, you but, said you beta know, October might be possible. Yeah, we're, we're, we're aiming for, you know, middle to end of October beta, you know, it could happen quicker, who knows. Um, but yeah, that's, that's Depends basically all. Adam sleeps, let's be honest. Oh, so we, we have this thing called a coding cage for him. 
where <laughs> then he doesn't get to leave it. <laughs> Just chuck food at him. There you go. I, have some of that. I suppose he was volunteering for that. <laughs> or he's been yeah. forced into it. <laughs> yeah. It's your job. Get in the cage. <laughs> yeah. But I think we're going to see some screenshots beforehand, right? Of the interface and everything. I mean, oh, right? Yeah. So, so if you yeah. look at the website, you can kind of tell what we're going for in terms of like, you know, feel yeah. super cozy colors. You right, know, very round, friendly fat images. outlines. Yep, yeah. simple, very Cartoonish, simple. Yeah. simple. And then yeah, look yeah. at the eyes on the cup, like when you yeah. move your cursor. Mm -hmm. Move your oh. cursor. Maybe oh, 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 I didn't uh, notice that. That's awesome. Uh, you're, you're not paying attention. Typical I love man. that. No. Typical and, man, not paying attention. And you guys are going to hear it here first. They're, I mean, not right now, but in the near future, you might be able to find some Easter eggs on the website. Oh, I love it. Oh. So, of course, the, the, the website is rudimentary right now. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's just... Uh, it's link just to your Discord and uh, the team. The whole entire the whole entire family right there. You're gonna get uh, an update for this soon with more content and. So this has been up for roughly one to two weeks right now. Um, Vet Mookie, do you guys have any any idea on that? Uh, you said update. Well, the the next update to the website is gonna be the beta. The marketplace marketplace beta so yeah. october probably around there yep october yeah sounds excellent scarbo do you have anything else you want to ask uh i'll just think no i think it's great that load of friends who have met on communities are getting together to build marketplace for the xrp out and nfts and Why you guys not? you guys from the team do you have anything else you want to let us know about I'm to the stream on the 27th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good fun marbles giveaways. Um, Twitch stream, right? Can be found. Uh, no. Correct. Twitch stream. Um, XRP Wait. underscore cafe is the oh, Twitch. Oh, man, I've got to get Twitch again. Oh, yeah, you got to. We got to do yeah. the marbles thing. Uh, not Twitch again. <laughs> And you can win oh, prizes, I assume. Correct. Right? Oh, you, can yeah. win, you can win some project tokens. You can win... Yeah, that's it's some XRP. Basically, anything that we're going to be giving away tomorrow, everybody has an equal shot at winning it. So, excellent. See you there. That's it, right? Anyone Stop. else want to add anything or? Yeah, um, people can join our Discord to learn more or go to our Twitter. Um, we'll be there to help anyone. And we'll put a link to the Discord on the youtube for yeah we'll put up the all the relevant links all the links with a video so everyone can find you guys yeah and if you go to the bottom of the, of the website there's a little surprise the switch Ooh. <laughs> it's a little uh, i was gonna say what's the switch i said the switch earlier. yeah the switch i, I, love, that. The switch. I love that excellent this is awesome nice nice i'm in night mode yeah i love it Excellent. That's it. Excellent. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks and ever so much, lads, for joining us. Yeah, thanks for sharing your project. I'll see you in Thank Twitch. You. See you guys yeah, on Twitch. Well. Thanks sure. for having us. Thanks a lot, lads. To the yeah, moon. Appreciate it. We'll see y'all. See y'all. Cheers, lads.